Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Mikey Barra, head of platform engineering at Xbox. Mike, we've got a big update rolling out, and today we're going to chat about the latest features hitting Xbox One and the Xbox app. Mike, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Larry. It's always great to be here. Really excited about the update we have coming. Can you remind us what is in the release? Yeah, I mean, it is a really big update for both Xbox One and the Xbox app that we've been working on really all year. We've talked about some of the new features uh, for a while now, and you know, thanks to the great members in our preview program who have been testing and giving us great feedback, it's finally here. One of the bigger features that we're excited about is Cortana coming to Xbox One. As we mentioned during preview, we've designed Cortana to enhance your gaming console experience. So some of the things Cortana can do is, for example, if I want to see what you're doing on Xbox, I can simply say, hey Cortana, what's Major Nelson doing? Larry is saving humanity with Master Chief. And because I know your real name and we're friends, I can invite you to a party without using any buttons. I can say, hey Cortana, invite Larry Herb to a party. Starting a party with Larry. And we'll automatically be in a party together. And the command to issue a voice command is now, hey Cortana, can you tell us about that for those that weren't in preview? Yeah, sure. For fans in the US and the UK, Hey Cortana is a new way to issue voice commands. It does a few things. First, we think it's important for to provide a consistent experience across Windows 10 devices. You say Hey Cortana on your PC and your phone, so you'll say Hey Cortana on Xbox One. And second, it also increases the accuracy of voice commands. And so for those who consistently use voice, they should be able to see a difference in the responsiveness on Xbox One. Now, Mike, there's a lot going on with Cortana. She's pretty sophisticated. What are some of the things I can say and how do I find them out? Yeah, the best thing for people to do is simply say, hey Cortana, what can I say? And a list of common commands will come up that you can start trying out. Mike, I understand we're giving fans the option to use Cortana or the traditional Xbox commands. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. During preview, we set Cortana to the default because we wanted to get as much feedback as we could. Now that we have that, we're coming out of preview, uh, we're going to offer to users the choice of being able to use Cortana or the Xbox traditional commands. Cortana has a rich feature set that works with headsets, uh, whereas Xbox traditional commands do not. Now, Mike, language region independence was announced to D3. For those who missed the news, can you share some details on what this means for our fans? Uh, based on fan feedback, we've enabled language region independence to give gamers even more control over their Xbox experience and how they engage with Xbox One. Language region independence gives gamers the freedom to choose any supported language on Xbox One, regardless of their location. So Mike, this is great. That means, for instance, if I were to move to Germany, my region would be, would be Germany, but my language I could set to English and I could enjoy my content in English. Yes, that's the exact sort of scenario that we've envisioned for this feature. Mike, we announced background music at E3 and it's coming really soon. I know Pandora will be one of the very first partners to support background music, but how will this feature work? Yeah, I think a common scenario is people will go in and you can launch Pandora, the app, start your favorite music. Uh... You can go to home, you can open up your favorite game uh, and start playing. And if you want to adjust the volume of the background music or go to the next track, I can open up the guide and I can easily do that. And for the Pandora app, I can also go full screen, like a song and quickly go back to my game and have background music play. We're working with a lot of app partners that'll bring background music to Xbox One. Common scenarios are being able to play off a local USB disc, uh, a network share, or a DLNA server in your home network. Next up is a fan favorite. The team has updated the My Games and App collection. Mike, can you share more about this? Yeah, we've heard a lot of feedback from fans about managing their game collection. Uh, we've changed your game collection to scroll vertically. You can see how fast one of your games is downloading, easily change the order of downloads in your queue, and even see recent updates that have installed on your downloaded games. You can also see game install status from the home. You know, I really love this feature. And one of the areas I really like is the fact that I can now arrange my games alphabetically, quickly go to what I want, and I'm on my way. You can also change the size of your game tile so I can see more of my game collection. We're also making some updates to the store on Xbox One. Mike, tell us about that. We're starting to combine the best of the Xbox Store and the Windows Store to give gamers a single cohesive experience across all of their devices. On Xbox One, we've streamlined the shopping experience to help you find the games you love faster and easier at the best prices. You'll be able to filter search results by genre, read reviews written by fellow gamers, including those voted most helpful by the Xbox Live community. 
easily recognize what titles are on sale with strike through pricing and lists and more. These updates to the store are also coming to Windows. What does that mean? Yeah, that's right. On the Windows Store, we're adding support so gamers can browse and purchase bundles, episodic games, season passes, virtual currency, uh, and game add-ons and DLC. You can also redeem Xbox tokens, subscriptions, games, or DLC through the Windows Store. And developers can make their games available for pre-order, pre-download, so you can buy a game before it launches and play it right when it comes out. A lot of new store stuff, and I'm really excited about this this little feature, which is going to clean up uh, the multiple versions of the box art seeing there. So it's going to it's going to minimize that, right, Mike? Yeah, that's right. Another big feature you're coming with this update for the store is the Xbox Play Anywhere program, which we announced at E3. So an Xbox Play Anywhere enabled game like Gears of War 4, if you purchase that on Xbox One, you get a copy on Windows 10 for free. So Mike, that also means if I buy it on PC, I get the Xbox version for free, right? Yeah, it's great value for PC gamers and console gamers and just gamers that are on the move. Now there's some more goodness for gamers as well. If we go over to the Xbox app, Win32 Game Hubs on Xbox Live. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of gamers today play across more than one device. We want to keep gamers connected regardless of where they're playing. Today, we're excited to announce we've added the top Windows 10 PC games with their own game hubs to Xbox Live. For PC gamers, this is a really big deal. Now you'll be able to see your friends playing PC games in your friends list, see and share PC game clips on Xbox Live, and use features like a free voice chat to talk with friends on your PC and, or on your Xbox One. That's a big update, Mike. A lot of stuff. We had Cortana, background music, language region independence, a brand new game collection, of course, the Win32 game hubs on Xbox Live, and a brand new store. A lot of stuff going on there, Mike. Thanks, Larry. We're really excited to bring this to fans. For more information, head over to Xbox Wire or my blog at majornelson.com. And Thanks for watching.